When buying action cameras, you want to get the camera with the highest video quality you can afford, and this is absolutely crucial. Don't buy a device just for the sake of owning one, get your money's worth. There are cameras with different video qualities these days, the highest and the best of them being 4K resolution. However, you'll also spot full HD and HD resolution cameras out there. Then again, you should know that different manufacturers and price points can mean various video qualities despite having the same resolution. This is due to features like lens distortion correction, image stabilization, or some kind of image processing engine that improves the performance of it. Secondly, image stabilization. This is one of the most crucial features in my opinion because it'll drastically improve the performance of your camera. There are two main types, video and photo stabilization. Most of the action cameras in the market have some sort of anti-shake photo stabilization feature. However, the most important for us is video stabilization. It won't matter if you have the best resolution, if image stabilization is poor during video, then you shouldn't consider that camera since it's an action camera after all. Check for cameras that have gyro or optical image stabilization features to get the best performance. Budget. Your budget is always important when buying a camera, however, when it comes to action cameras, there's not a lot of gap between the budget price and some better mid-range options. So unless you're short on funds, wait to invest in a better model that'll deliver better value for the money. Then again, some interesting models deliver great performance and features in the budget price, but they are really rare. And fourthly, accessories. I always recommend opting for the package that offers enough accessories for your needs or has a great range of compatible accessories available. A big plus is if the action camera in question has universal accessories that you can use. Don't forget the mounting options and don't compromise on quality. Let's start this list with a decent action camera coming in from a brand that delivers some excellent budget products, Akaso and its EK7000 Pro. This camera will deliver you all the features and qualities you might want in an action camera without putting a strain on your budget. It has 4K resolution for video, 16 megapixel stills, a great set of accessories in the package, ease of use and so much more. Without further ado, let's take a closer look. The Akaso EK7000 has the classic action camera design with a rectangular boxy shape. It doesn't actually stand out with its design and I think it's a good choice that the manufacturer has opted for a simple design to keep the costs low. It has just four buttons on its body that include the shutter button, enter button for menu, mode button that has a great function of swapping between different shooting modes, including video, photo, burst and settings. There are also the up and down buttons for navigation in the menu. In the package of the device, you will spot a waterproof casing that's good overall, but you should know that without it, the device can't handle any water. I should mention that the Akaso EK7000 is extremely easy to use, actually, just like most action cameras out there. There's built-in Wi-Fi connectivity with the device that can be enabled quickly via the settings menu. After you do that, you can use the remote control that's included in the package of the device, which is super convenient, to say the least. The video performance of the Akaso EK7000 is pretty good, as it can record video at different resolutions including full HD at 60 and 30 frames per second, 4K at 25fps, 2.7K at 30fps, and 720p at 120 and 60fps. Switching between them is quite easy as well. I have to note that the quality of the video capture is great, with nice sharpness, colours and angles. The audio is good as well, but the waterproof casing muddles it up a bit. Complete with the electronic image stabilization system, you will have a blast with this device. Next up, we have an interesting kind of action camera, a 360 camera that delivers an amazing versatility in its package, the GoPro Max. This camera will deliver amazing footage with its 5.6K resolution 360 degree video, superb reframing, on-camera stitching features, image stabilization, and fits in with most of the mounts in the company's lineup. While it's a bit more expensive, I think it's a great addition to your arsenal. If you know the GoPro series, you'd probably expect the same rectangular body shape. However, this one is a bit different in that aspect. For example, it's equipped with a super colourful 1.7-inch touchscreen display that's great for previewing your videos or photos and navigating the menu of the device. It's also extremely durable overall, and even without a case, it can be submerged underwater down to 5 metres, which is amazing. In addition to all this, the device is packed with a small pair of mounting arms for the tripod mounting that fold flush to the body when you don't need them. This makes the GoPro Max compatible with all other mounts in the GoPro range, so if you have one, you're all set to go. The GoPro Max is packed with a large 1660mAh battery cell that's necessary to keep both lenses up and running at all times. On top of that, the advanced on-camera processing will also put some strain on your battery life. 
However, it delivers about 50 minutes of continuous use with 360 degree recording at max resolution, but you can increase that easily by opting for different settings. I'd invest in some spare batteries though to keep things safe. The biggest selling point of the GoPro Max is that it delivers 360 degree video at 5.6K resolution and 2D video at 1440p or 1080p resolution. 360 degree videos are shot in either 24 or 30 frames per second and normal videos are up to 60 frames per second. This action camera can take stills as well with its amazing image stitching at 16.6 megapixels 360 degrees and 5.5 megapixels in normal modes. Definitely worth your time and hard earned money. For those that want to get the absolute best for their money, I recommend the GoPro Hero 7, which might not be the latest model, but delivers amazing value for the price. It's a great action camera that's very portable, has amazing image stabilization features, has a great set of features and 4K resolution. It has become the friend of many vloggers out there, and I think you'll have a good time with this camera. If you've seen or used a GoPro from the Hero series before, you'll be no stranger to the Hero 7. The company hasn't made changes to the design for a long time now, and I don't think that it's necessary, as it's a fan favourite and works wonders in terms of functionality and convenience. The biggest difference is the upgraded black finish and a microphone membrane that improves the overall sound quality and reduces the wind vibration sound that's very annoying. The rubberized finish of the body allows you to get a good grip on it and the waterproofing is good down to 10 meters underwater. On the back of the camera you'll spot a 2 inch touchscreen panel that's very bright and detailed, especially for a camera of this size. There is some learning curve to be taken with this one but I don't think it's anything significant. It's equipped with a lot of features, however the biggest and most important one in my opinion is the HyperSmooth. This feature enhances the electronic image stabilization technology of the device by combining software and hardware features. It can also record 4K content at 60 frames per second, and the Time Warp feature is extremely cool as it allows you to create time-lapse videos, a superb option for content creators. In the video quality department, it's amazing, has great sharpness, rich colors with good natural tones, it works well in every ambient, and I reckon that you'll create some beautiful content with this one. The runner-up on this list is the excellent DJI Osmo Action, which is one of the best replacements for a GoPro. This action camera is packed with some interesting features, including the beautiful display, superb video quality, a solid image stabilization system, and a wide range of features that we'll talk about in a moment. It also has a very competitive price that delivers great value for your money. So, let's check it out. From the design perspective, the DJI Osmo Action has the classic action camera look resembling closely a GoPro Hero. The large lens in front, the display in the back, and the mounting system that's very attractive for the majority of the users. The difference though is the excellent two-tone finish with a metal casing and grippy textured wrapping to make it a superb choice for everyone. It's also very compact and lightweight, and despite that, the 1.4-inch screen is great with its pixel density of 300 ppi and a max brightness of 750 nits, resulting in visibility even under direct sunlight. On the right side of the device, you'll see a flap that covers the USB port and the micro SD slot. On the base, you'll see the latches that release the battery. I should mention that the DJI Osmo Action delivered a superb image quality that's comparable to its super high-end competitors, making sure you get superb content at every time. I was particularly impressed by the performance of the Rocksteady image stabilization system that worked wonders. Moving on, the DJI Osmo Action can shoot 4K content at 30 frames per second and 4 to 3 aspect ratio. However, it can go up to 60 frames per second at the 16 to 9 aspect ratio, and if you choose to go down to 1080p or 720p, you can go up to 240 frames per second, resulting in super slow motion shots that are amazing. On top of the list, we have the GoPro Hero 8, which, like its predecessor that we talked about a while ago, delivers a superior recording experience. However, it is upgraded to the brim with a new microphone, superb companion app, delicious image stabilization, great new modes, and a lot of new features that'll impress even the most nitpicky users. Just like its predecessors, the GoPro Hero 8 is extremely durable with its classic rectangular body shape. It has the same depth of waterproofing, down to 10 meters, it has some interesting upgrades though, such as better shock resistance and the cooling Gorilla Glass that gives it a better impact resistance. The device now also has two foldable hinges that are named fingers for using the new mounts. The biggest improvement made in the GoPro Hero 8 though is the forward-facing microphone that improves and captures the sound excellently, even at very high wind speeds. 
The device is also packed with an excellent 1220 mAh battery that has a better lifespan of about 50 minutes of continuous recording in 4K resolution. You can record for two hours though if you choose to record in full HD or in the Time Warp video mode. The video quality is superb in this device, however there are some amazing improvements made in the HDR and night mode quality which has been something that a lot of users wanted. It still can't reach the photograph quality of cameras, but it's pretty good overall. It has tons of interesting video recording options such as the ultra-wide lens that records 4K video at 60 frames per second, but then again you can record at 120 frames per second at 2.7K resolution, the best image stabilization in the market and everything else. The GoPro Hero 8 won't disappoint you.